Okay, so Vixen 3 has uh, a large number of shortcut keys that can be utilised to make your sequencing much easier. Over the left here you'll see that uh, there's a mock-up card of um, all the shortcut keys that uh, you can use with, from within the, the sequencing screen. Basically it's grouped into editing, zoom and scroll, file marks and transport control. Now you can find this on the Vixen website if you go up to help. And this is the document document page of the Vixen Lights website. You just scroll down to sequence uh, and editor keys. There's all your keys there. What you can do is scroll right down the bottom and you can grab that card so you can right right click and uh, say picture as, download it, whatever. Um, what I've done is I've printed that out and just uh, laminated it and stuck it to the size of the monitor because I can't even remember um, all these shortcut keys although some of them you will find that you will constantly use because it does make life a lot easier and um, I guess there's a few people out there that don't even know those particular ones exist and are actually doing it the, the hard and long way so I'll take you through some of those examples now so as you can see I've added uh, a few effects here already basically uh, what users uh, do to line up is they obviously grab the, the start or end of the effect and the, they move it to the position they want it where if you've got marks that are aligned to you know your beats or certain parts of the audio track or if you just want to line them up with other effects um, or marks basically you can do that an easy way with a shortcut key so if you select the effects you want you can select one effect multiple effects and hit uh, control shift s that adjusts it to the start of the mark, uh, the start effect of the mark. And same with the end, if you just do Control Shift E, it takes it to the end. Um, and if, for example, you wanted to do both, do Control Shift B. So that'll move those uh, start and end of the effect to the closest mark that's available. Okay. Obviously, if you wanted to do both of them, you would need both effects selected. So just hit control to select another effect and then you just do control shift s and what you'll notice is it moved that effect to that mark and that effect to that mark because that was the closest mark um, however obviously if you had that a bit closer so just say you want it all lined up together you can also select multiple effects and wherever you got your mouse highlighted it will use that effect so for example i've got these two effects selected if I have my mouse over the top of this one and just hit S, it adjusts that top effect to come perfectly in line with that one. Um, so obviously you can use those uh, together as well. Uh, you, you can move that and also if you wanted them both on that particular mark, then obviously you need to be closer to that mark than that mark. So you do that, select them both and just do Control Shift S and adjust there. So I guess Control Shift S and Control Shift E and Control Shift B all right, adjust based on the marks. So those ones um, I use extensively. All right, some other ones um, that we can use. So as I said, with uh, the S, without using the Control and Shift, just use the S, adjust it to the start of the the effect that you've got highlighted. Same with E. Once again, you can do E or basically B. All right now, that's really good if you've got you know 20 or 30 effects all in line here that you need to get them perfectly matched up. So those are uh, those ones in uh, regards to the editing ones over here. All right. Uh, a lot of the other ones you know about. Control C is your, your standard copy paste. You got your cut. Um, you can do duplicate effect. Not everyone knows about that one either, where you got Control plus click and drag, so that'll create a new effect. So if we've got this effect here, for example, and I just hold Control down, click and drag, you'll see that it creates another effect, the same as that. Um, also, if uh, So if you hold Control Alt down, so the Control key, click and drag, copies the effect, but the Alt key keeps it in line with the effect above. All right, so as you can see, I'm moving left and right, it's not moving the effect. Whereas previously, when I just hit Control, copies the effect, I can still move it. So sometimes you might want to copy the effect and have it perfectly in line. 
um, it's obviously easier to just do control alt click and drag and you know it's in line if you didn't do that then obviously you'd have to you know have both effects highlight that one and hit B and that would align it so once again it's saving even more time all right so we'll move over to the, the scroll and zooming so at the moment if you just hit your scroll scroll wheel you know, it's not not doing anything hold the, the control down that's where it'll zoom in and out all right at the moment uh, I've got it up here as zoom under mouse position so what that means is wherever your mouse is that's where it will zoom into so if I want to zoom in this area hold it as you can see that stays there now if um, for example I didn't want that and not under the mouse and I just wanted to zoom it basically zooms from the left edge so I normally always have the uh, zoom under mouse position. It just seems more natural to me because I can zoom in the area that I want. Uh, now you can do shift mouse wheel and that just takes you left and right. Okay, if I did have, here I'll open it up. This is where just using the scroll wheel will take you, move your screen up and down. And obviously I only had the two there so the scroll wheel didn't do anything. Um, obviously you've got your home where you can jump to, to the top of the timeline, end to bottom, control home, start of the timeline, end of the timeline. Uh, there's also zoom row height, so this one's uh, control shift plus. All right. So you hit that and that's basically increasing and decreasing the size of the rows. Another way you can do that is obviously over here with the control shift and mouse wheel which is obviously a bit easier than using your plus and minus. So there you go. Uh, the beauty of that as well is over here you can individually change the height of each particular row and then control shift using your scroll will adjust both of them as a ratio. Um, obviously up here there's a number of uh, reset options as well. You reset row height to default and you can collapse all groups. Um, then there's just the toggling uh, file, you've got your usual control S, control alt S, control Q. Um, uh, these ones here, which is uh, alt drag windows files to timeline. I've shown that in the other drag and drop option, but effectively what you can do is um, pick, uh, just say you wanted a GIF file, so instead of creating, I'll just delete those. So just quickly, what you used to have to do is grab a picture effect, bring it over, and um, and then you'd have to go to the effect editor, change it from better to file, and then you'd have to go in here and find the file. So what, what we've done now is created an easy drag and drop, so I can grab that file, you know, I can grab multiple files as well, including a video file, and I can just drag them all to the timeline. And once again there's a couple of shortcut keys you can use with control and alt I have um, mentioned that in the, the drag and drop video but because I've got uh, the matrix grid and I want it horizontal I just hit the alt key and because I'm dragging multiple pictures or files across I don't want them stacked on top of each other I want them you know, to the side of each other so you just hit control to stack them to the side of each other and alt will make it a horizontal grid instead of vertical there we go, and as you see there, it's created the, the four effects. So if I click on that now, you can see that that's the, the um, video effect. So that's the matrix over here. Uh, then you've got some picture effects. Let me just show that. All right, so that was much easier to get those particular pictures or video files in. From there, obviously, you can drag them to whatever you want or make the changes. Uh, so that's a really good feature to, that's come out um, in the latest build and will be in 3.5. So back to the, the shortcut keys, so those, those shortcut keys down here. Um, you got your transport controls, spacebar, play stop, so everyone knows about that. Um, I guess some people probably don't know about the, the con um, control plus space to pause. So effectively if I hit space to start I can then just hit control space and that'll pause it. So if I keep my finger on control and keep it in space, it, it goes and stops where I want it. 
okay now at that same point I can also um, hold shift down and hit the space bar and it's created a mark so you know I can go there pause it shift space and it creates another mark or I can do it while it's playing as well so if I hit play and then just do shift space wherever I want to mark you know you'll be obviously listening to the music and creating the marks where you want to and then obviously you can drag them right so there transport controls uh, and then you've got the marks area a lot of these are, are new and um, they're new with uh, the new mark implementations so if you go mark collections obviously this is over to the right here is um, will be all new to you because it's only just been released in the latest build and and will be in 3.5 uh, there's another video that explains this uh, it's sort of in conjunction with the limp, limp uh, sync lip sync uh, effect video uh, that's in the YouTube Bix and Light software YouTube uh, channel um, so if you don't know about that Vixen Light YouTube channel basically you just go to obviously YouTube and just type in uh, Vixen Lights software and there it is down here Vixen Light software channel click on that and we started to put in um, some new videos of the latest changes all right, um, so there's the lipstick marks there that describes the, the new marks uh, quite good and then obviously we've implemented these new marks into the uh, a few of the other effects as well so yeah so there's a few shortcut keys there that relate to these new marks so for example if you click on this over here you can now get labels with your marks so you know you can you can obviously change the size length of the marks but as I said that's in the um, other video um, that's probably the all the major the major ones but yeah the ones here for editing basically the ones that are going to save you a lot of time oh just another one with uh, effects obviously you can drag effects over but you can also right click and add effects this way so I mean that adds a, a single effect to the timeline but just say you wanted to add multiple effects of the same type of effect what you can do is hold the shift down right click and then say I want a heap of um, alternating effects so while I've got the shift down click on that and it brings up this new form uh, there's a lot of people that don't know this obviously exists uh, so at the moment um, number of effects to add to a number of possible effects is 15 um, basically there's a, a number of options here show beat marks alignment option tools so if you want to align to the beat marks so align to these marks uh, you select the defaults and then select how many you know how many you want to create uh, you can do start time and time the duration of each of the effect and then obviously after you've finished adding them you can select that to edit them um, you can fill duration du uh, duration between marks as well so there's a lot of options you can do here so hit OK and you see it's generated six alternating effects in between the marks all right, and adjust the size to fit in between those marks. Okay, that's probably the last one. Well, thank you.